I need a little more help on understanding this. We had in the previous conversation that immunotherapy helps just 15% of the population. Is that true in your field of melanoma research or is it, are you seeing something different? We're seeing something different. When I started in melanoma, it was dismal absolutely yeah. dismal it was worse than pancreatic cancer worse than glioblastoma the median right. survival was about six to nine months 25 percent of people would get to 12 months this is advanced melanoma and less than five percent to five years we're now seeing uh, between 50 and almost 60 percent getting to five years the melanoma specific survival that's an advanced melanoma and we've added on top of that now using neoadjuvant therapy but what I'm most excited about, uh, immunotherapy, and it's specifically when we use the word immunotherapy, we mean a whole heap of different drug treatments. Right. There's checkpoint inhibitors, which were the first to really make a dent. We have to remember in melanoma that we knew this cancer had a relationship with the immune system decades before. We knew that because IL-2, uh, TIL therapy, the early version of tumour infiltrating lymphocytes being reinfused into the patient could work in a small subset. So we knew melanoma had a relationship with the immune system, but it wasn't working for everybody. And it was not until the checkpoint inhibitors over a decade ago, well over a decade ago, when we started developing them. In fact, anti c 2 4 was the first, and that was started in 2003, 2004. Um, when they really took hold and we got anti-PD-1, we saw these incredible cure rates. So across cancer, yes, the percentage would be around that 20%. In melanoma, it's above 50% that we're curing in advanced cancer. And this is talking advanced cancer. We're pushing that up. And this is what I'm really excited about is twofold. First of all, using immune treatment early when you still have the cancer on board because we know it trains the immune system better. And I'm talking there specifically about checkpoint inhibitors. That is pushing up that 50% by getting early and training the immune system early before surgery. Patients love it. Six weeks, two doses of combined immunotherapy. We see 60% of melanoma patients have a major pathological response. Our field in melanoma has also refined pathological response. In the olden days, for breast cancer, for esophageal cancer, it was just whether you had a complete pathological response and everybody else. Now in melanoma, with immune treatments specifically, not chemotherapy before surgery, but no. checkpoint inhibitors before surgery, we've refined the pathological response so that we understand the immune system and have major pathological response, partial pathological response, and no pathological response. Patients love it because all of a sudden they walk into your room Right. thinking I've got a 50% chance of this coming back after surgery. They have drug before, they get it cut out. You're able to tell them you've had a major pathological response. You've got less than 5% of this ever being a problem again. If you haven't had a good response, you can change it up. And that's power. Information is power for the patient. Wow.